I'm Pio, this is Nifty Culture, and today I'm going to give you guys a quick run through on how to set up a MetaMask wallet from scratch, and then I'm going to use it to buy an NFT. The NFT that I'll be using as an example will be the LaMelo Ball NFT. It's an NBA player, LaMelo Ball. All right, so if you see here, I've just Googled MetaMask. So I'm just gonna click on the first thing that pops up, which is metamask.io. Make sure that you go to that website exactly, and this is the MetaMask website. Website. I'm going to hit download. It's going to take me to this page. Install MetaMask for your browser. MetaMask is an in browser extension, it's not a desktop app. So, install MetaMask for Firefox. Here we go. I'm going to add it to Firefox. Cool. It's happening quickly. Add. All right. So, here it is. Okay. So, I'm going to click on it. Get started. All right. Let's get set up. Here we go. So I'm going to agree to do this. I'm just gonna use a password that I know. So here we go. Cool. Read and agree to the terms of use. So I'm gonna create this. Get out of here, don't need to save that. They're gonna talk about securing it. So I'm going, the secret backup phrase, we can do a separate video on this. I'm not gonna do this right now. This is how you properly secure the wallet. So you're absolutely going to want to do this. It's very easy to do. You just click here and it reveals a list of words and those words are actually your backup, okay? So that's how you secure, secure crypto wallets. It's kind of like a crypto bank account, but there's no third party entity, i.e. a bank, but rather you just self custody your own own assets and this recovery seed is like the end all be all in terms of security it's a certain number usually like you know 24 unique phrases uh, 24 or 26 something like that unique phrases that are in a specific order and you need to just write them down so it'll be like banana umbrella magazine dog cat something like that and when it comes time for you to recover a wallet you'll actually input the phrases in the order that uh, whatever wallet, whether it's MetaMask or something else, wants you to. So anyway, it's a really important thing to do. It's very simple and straightforward. You would just click there. The words would come up. If I do it now, it'll show the words of this wallet. So I'm not going to for security purposes. But yeah, so I'll hit remind me later. See, it's it's very important, as, as you can tell that they're making... Okay, and then there's your wallet. Your wallet is now set up, okay? So I have a wallet address. If you just click here, it'll copy the wallet address, but you can also do it this way. You can go like this, and you get this QR code, and you can copy the address here. So either way, this is the address for your wallet. This is not sensitive information. It's the public address for your wallet if you wanted to receive Ethereum, Okay. So this account has zero ETH. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna copy the wallet address. I'm gonna go to my other account where I have ETH, okay? And so on this front, you're gonna need to have ETH, right? So if I go to my wallet here, all right. So I've pay, uh, copied my password and I'm gonna just paste it in. This is how you would log into MetaMask uh, once you have the account set up. So I just paste that, I hit unlock. And boom, here's my account, right? So I am going to take this address, boom, copied the new address, and I'm gonna send ETH to it by doing send, hitting this address. I'm going to send 0.1 ETH, okay? Uh, and I'll do a fast transaction at $1.10 just for the sake of this video. So the gas fee is gonna be $1.10, that's the fee for the transaction. So the total amount is the 0.1 that I requested. Uh, and actually I'm gonna to need to do a little bit more cause I'm gonna to need uh, to pay a gas fee on the other side too. So I'm gonna do like 0.11, here we go. 0.11 should do it, fine, 0.115, how about that? Being cheap here, but that should be good. Um, so there will be 0.115 ready to rock. That should work. So I'm just going to hit confirm right now. And you can do this from whatever wallet you have ETH in. You might have it in a Gemini or a Coinbase account. That's another step just to acquire the ETH. But that's also very straightforward. And those websites are very user friendly. So you just have to have ETH somewhere else. And then you can, you know, go ahead and, um, you know, have ETH in this new MetaMask. So let's look at my MetaMask. This is the one I just made. So as you can see, it's already showing up here. So it's already good to go. I'm going to do the LaMelo Ball NFT. Here we go. 
I'm going to connect to wallet. Boom. Click on MetaMask. Here we go. Account 1, 1.115 ETH. Connect. Here we go. So I'm on lamelloball.io, by the way. The wallet is connected. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to Blue Neptune. I'm going to hit Buy Blue Neptune. I'm just going to get one. So I click this little box. I agree to the terms of conditions. I select one number of cards. The amount to pay in ETH is 0.1. Hit buy. MetaMask is going to pop up again. Here we go. This is the total with the gas fee. Confirm. It's loading. Sometimes these transactions can take a little bit depending on what speed of gas you choose to pay. I just left it on the default gas fee. But you're going to see this pop up in just a second and it's going to say like, you know, congratulations, you just bought the Lamello Ball NFT. And the cool thing about blockchain technology is like, even though I just made this wallet from scratch and, uh, you know, it's not a wallet that I plan on having for the long term, I can send out all the remaining ETH to my other wallet. And then I can also actually just send that NFT that I just bought, this Lamello Ball NFT, to another wallet. So definitely really cool stuff. All right, guys, so it's been about two minutes, and here we go. Welcome to your wallet. Just like a cryptocurrency wallet, it allows you to receive and store your cards. You can find your wallet address in the top right corner of this page. Your wallet's empty. I'm going to assume... There we go. That once I refresh the page, go back to the wallet, here it is, Blue Neptune, right? And then I can actually... Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, here it is. So connect my wallet just to show you guys again. There we go. It's connected. And there is my Lamello Ball NFT right there. So I will go to OpenSea right now, actually. And I'm going to connect my wallet to OpenSea so that you guys can see right here my wallet. Connect to MetaMask. Here we go. Connect account one. Yep connect here it is and I want to see my profile and when you look at my profile lamello ball collectibles right here this picture will fill in this is very common uh, realistically after the sale is when you'll actually see this and I can even just now send this to my actual wallet now that I'm done with the video so that's a very easy thing to do too uh, to actually just send it to another wallet and uh, yeah, I mean, this is the power of blockchain technology. I think it's incredibly cool. I can just send it. I can sell it. It's, uh, it's really the future, in my opinion. But I hope this was a helpful video. Please subscribe to Nifty Culture. Uh, please follow Nifty Culture on Twitter. That's at NFT Culture. And please follow me on Twitter. That's at P.O. Vincenzo underscore. Thank you.